Hey everybody, it's Trevor. Welcome to the Outdoor Adventure Guy. So today I want to do a uh, kind of like a, a once over um, on a new fishing kayak that I recently purchased. Um, previously I had the Feel Free Lure 11.5. It was a great fishing kayak when I lived up north. It did great on slow moving rivers um, and lakes. It was great up on, on the lakes. Uh, but now I live on the central coast of California, central north coast, um, and I'm looking to start doing some ocean fishing. So I needed to get a kayak that was a little bit longer uh, for some better tracking and more speed um, and a little bit more storage room and things like that for fishing gear. Um, so I sold the Feel, uh, Feel Free Lure 11.5 about a month ago and um, just last week I ended up picking up a Jackson Kraken 13.5 <clears throat> which uh, uh, I did my research and it was between the Kraken and um, I had been looking at the, the Hobie Outback as well but um, I just don't do enough fishing to warrant spending that much money on a, on a kayak as far as the Hobie goes. So I went with the Kraken. Um, I haven't got the thing out on the water yet. It's been really stormy here for the last week. Um, so conditions have not been good for uh, getting it out on the open water. Uh, but hopefully here uh, by the middle of next week, I'll be able to. Um, but anyway, let's take a quick look at it and um, I'll show you, show you all the cool stuff that it has. I hope you'll excuse uh, the garage. There's a bit of a mess in here right now. But uh, anyway, here's the boat. Um, in case the color is not coming through correctly here, I've got yellow lights in the garage here. It's kind of like a, a mint uh, camouflage color. Um, we'll start up front here. So it's got this large hatch, front hatch here, with a hard shell cover and then underneath you end up with a neoprene uh, gasket that goes on there. And as you can see, you've got a ton of storage under here. Um, I've got my life jacket, a spare paddle, um, bilge pump, um, and I think some, some rope, some line in there. Moving down from the bow, uh, we've got uh, two small pieces of track, one on each each side of the boat there, and then of course there's a pre-installed uh, GoPro mount. Pretty handy to have. Uh, here on the center console, right now I've got a, another GoPro mount, and then um, I've also got a, a rod holder. This rod holder came with the boat. Um, as part of the package. You've also got two longer pieces of track uh, here on the sides of the console. And then it's got a clip enclosure here. If you open that up, of course they give you the uh, Jackson water bottle and the Jackson decal in there. And then here in the center console bucket, um, I've got like a dry bag, some rope, uh, paddling gloves, some rags and stuff. And what's cool is that this center console comes out, just lifts out like that. And you've got access to um, the inside of the boat. Uh, you can put fishing rods in there if you're going to be launching from the surf and you don't want to uh, lose those or have them damaged if you take a roll. Um, flotation noodles, you can store anything you want down in there. Um, and then of course this just goes right back in. And of course the uh, snap or buckle enclosure here to keep that nice and snug. And what I really like about the center console on this boat is that it's got a nice thick um, fitting gasket, keeps that water out. I noticed on my last kayak, my Feel Free Lure 11.5, um, the front hatch on that leaked like crazy. It was not a tight seal whatsoever. All right, so moving right along here. Um, 
This version of this boat has um, the padded deck kit installed in it. Um, it's kind of a kind of a firm rubber, um, but I can see how it would uh, offer you some relief, especially if you're fishing barefoot all day long um, and your heels are resting on this padding compared to just the hard plastic of the boat. Um, probably helps the, the feet stay a bit more comfortable. Um, the seat on this thing is incredibly comfortable. Um, it's kind of the lawn chair style, and that's, that's what I call it, these. A lot of the kayak makers are going to this style seat now. Really comfortable uh, padding um, where your bottom goes. Nice firm uh, backrest. Um, of course, it's adjustable forward and uh, forward and aft. You can also slide the entire chair forward. Um, as you can see here, it's got these different um, places that you can set it so you can trim out the boat better in case you're a little stern or, or bow heavy once you've got the all your gear in it. Also came with this mesh storage bag attached to the back of the seat here. Um, I was under the impression that this boat also came with a um, Thermarest lumbar support pillow. I had seen it advertised that way online, but mine did not come with it, so I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, behind the seat, you got this strip of silver track. Um, you could put anything you want in there, more GoPro mounts, um, a flag, navigation light, stuff like that. Um, directly behind the seat, you've got the uh, stern storage area. I don't know how well it's coming across on the film here, but it's actually pretty large. You could fit a crate and then some in there. Of course, we've got two pre-installed flush mount rod holders, um, adjustable bungee system over the rear storage area. These slide up and down. You can also put more accessories in the track um, that the uh, bungee is connected to. Behind that, you've got a stern storage hatch. This one is just a simple rubble, rubble, <laughs> rubber seal, um, but you can get a lot more storage in there. Storage runs the full length of the boat, so you've got a lot of space you can use if need be. All right. It came with a uh, Jackson, just your typical red, uh, red flag for carrying it out the back of a pickup truck or whatever. Uh, the handle, I really like the handles on this boat compared to the Feel Free. Um, they're just a, I don't know, they just feel more, uh, more comfortable in the hand. Of course, there's a recess here um, for a rudder kit. This thing is, uh, has cable runs pre-installed on it for a rudder kit. So it would be nice and easy to do that. I forgot to mention, you've also got two pre-drilled um, pre uh, sections here behind the seat. I see a lot of people mount like uh, the uh, rocket launcher, bazooka style uh, rod holders um, here sometimes. And of course down there I've got my beach balloon wheel set. I live on the uh, Northern California coast and so I'm usually usually going to be launching from beaches and dragging this thing through sand for 50 yards or whatever from the parking lot down to the water is, is no fun. So those wheels come in handy. Um, I didn't get a super high end paddle when I bought this. Um, this pretty much took up what <laughs> what little money I had to spend on a new boat. So I just have a Carlisle uh, fiberglass paddle there. So yeah, that's the boat. I'll give you one more quick pan over the whole thing here. Like I said, I'm looking real forward to the weather shaping up around here so I can take this thing out and take it on its maiden voyage. All right, 
so there you have it. Uh, that's my new Jackson Kayak uh, Kraken 13.5. Um, if you have any questions about the boat, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, found it informative, please give me a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe if you like what you see on my channel. My channel is just getting started, so I'll have, I'll have more content, you know, as soon as possible. Um, so I do appreciate you checking out what I do have. Um, all right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you on my next adventure. Bye.